You've never heard of the Millennium Falcon? It's the ship that made the Kessel run in less than 12 parsecs. Hey, Star Wars fans, welcome back to another video. Uh, excited about this one. This is something that's been oh, over 20 years in the making. <laughs> it's finally, finally part of my collection, Zam Wessel's Speeder. With blast-off panels, of course. Yeah, the uh, the vintage collection Zam Wessel right here. Which, you know, they could could easily do with a, uh, a re-release. It doesn't necessarily... I don't think she needs an upgrade. Um, yeah, certainly a, a re-release. Yeah, she sort of came out in... Oh, say 2010, 2011 now, but um, yeah, the only Zam Wessel I've ever had. I never got any of the sort of the 2002, 2003 versions of Zam. Um, so yeah, I finally got her speeder because I got Anakin's speeder oh, in recent years. It's been a little while. I can't, couldn't tell you exactly how long I've had it, but yeah, finally, um, you know, just making some little dents in the collection some of these little vehicles and, and stuff like that. Um, mainly because I've got Anakin Speeder and I thought it'd be really cool to eventually find uh, Zam Wessels. And um, yeah, I'm sort of keeping an eye on this on on eBay for a little while um, and finally decided to to bite the bullet when the, when the seller offered a bit of a discount. So I thought, you know what? Today is the day. I'm grabbing this thing. So we take a little look. As we unbox it, blast apart, battle damage. The speed on the side. Feel the other little details on the back, which is cool. Action figures, there's the Zam Wessel. I may end up trying to find the older Zam Wessel just to, uh, you know, have one to put in the speeder. But, um, yeah, we're going to... We're going to have a little look at this one. I think it'd be cool. I do realise that part of my Anakin speed of the little pop-off panel there at the front, that was uh, that was missing. So I may end up having to... I don't know. It's gonna. It's probably, probably easier to source the part or buy a new one than it is to source the missing piece. So I may end up having to do that at some stage. But for now, we're all about Zam Wessel Speeder, Attack of the Clones... Um, the boys from Twin Sons Collecting. Whichever one was manning the uh, Instagram account when I posted up about this. This is sort of said, you can hear the uh, the guitar riff playing during the speeder chase. And uh, yeah, it's uh, obviously part of her. Part of the uh, sound design for, for the speeder itself was actually an electric guitar. And this is cool. So you've got the little... Some assembly required include ship two riff ins, two removable body parts. This should be pretty straightforward. Fin fin side panels push in the two front wings. The panels blast off the speeder. Okay, pretty straightforward, but uh, it comes with a little catalog, and I love these because I haven't got this one. I love checking out all the, uh, you know, the checklist. I still don't have uh, a young boba. It's one I definitely would like to track down. So that's really cool. Some of the unleashed statues there on the right. Seven inch unleashed figures, they're cool. Yeah, I've got got both of those vehicles, Jedi Starfighter and the Slave One, 12 inch figures, lightsaber assortment, that's cool, that's going in my uh, keepsake folder, so that's cool, all right, all right, I'm assuming we're going to have Soon we're going to have some uh, wire cables here, so let's see if I can. I did have some snips in here, but I'll try and cut them with the uh, Exacto 
There we go. Not too bad. So we'll take the, uh, the guts out there. Another one. Slide out. So there we go. And this is the obviously the the ends of the wings and the removable panels. they're in the right way it doesn't look like they'll fit yeah they want to go in one way that's fine it's a little bit warped in the packaging so that one's a little bit bent but that's okay yeah that may need a little clean because that's that's like rubber I didn't realize that was rubber is it they're almost sticky Sort of plastic feel to it. Yeah, that may have uh, gotten a little bit gummy over time, but you know what? I'm probably just going to fix these in. I'm not going to be playing battle damage. So maybe if I was to glue glue these panels in, that may give it a little bit of extra stability. Because you can sort of see there's a little bit of ripple in the in the rubber there. But yeah, obviously you can push that in. Which, you know, cool, cool play feature, don't get me wrong, but um, <laughs> obviously 20 years later it sort of hasn't really held the form it once had. Yeah, oh, it won't be too bad, it's, it's, not too, it's not too bad. It's got a little bit of structure there with the, uh, with the front there, but yeah, I think I'm going to uh, lock them in for good. Yeah, Hasbro 2002. The two little landing struts there on the front. So we'll sort of sit down. No, it's not too bad. I like the look of it. Um, yeah, it's not. It's not huge. I mean, I wasn't expecting it to be super big given the, uh, the size of Anakin Speeder. But I'll, it's kind of nice. Pop the canopy open. See, it may not be a super easy fit to get her in there. And pop that off. Doesn't appear to be any other way to open it. Refer to the uh, instruction again. No, there wasn't really anything there. Reach that speeder. No, it was just that was more assembly. Look at the box. Let's have a look at the box. Driver's seat fits most Star Wars action figures. That's what it says there. Yeah, it just looks like the uh, the canopy is the only sort of real part there that sort of comes up. So yeah, to, to get her in there and have her holding the uh, steering vanes could be a little tricky. It may actually be worth trying to uh, completely disassemble the thing. <laughs> I'm trying to work out what these two buttons here do. So there's two on either side. There's I'm not really seeing anything they're doing. Thought maybe that's to help release those. Yeah, I'm not sure. I'm gonna have to actually go and 
see if I can find a review of this thing myself to try and work that out. Thought maybe there's another way to to lift off the canopy to get the figure in there, but I'm not I'm not sort of picking anything out here. That like said, there's some cool details inside of it. If I could just focus on there. It's all the control, control panels. I'm glad I didn't have to put those stickers in myself. And I do like the way she sort of lays back into it. It's definitely a, a relaxed ride. Shut nicely. Well, you got the the view through the bottom there too. That's cool. It's it's definitely a, a cool looking ship. Almost looks like a praying mantis head or something. It's like a bug's head. The big mandibles at the front. I dig it. Not a great deal of weathering or anything on it, but that's all, that's all right. I suppose it's a pretty slick looking ship until she does crash it into the friggin' wall. <laughs> Some of those details there. You know, considering that's sort of a, a rubber, it's held its shape pretty well. If there's any way to sort of fill that in with a, with a solid shape or a resin or something. Just to fill it in, probably not worth worrying about to be honest. Okay, I just found out what the button does. So you can crash that in and it looks, it stays crumpled, but when you push the button, doom, it shoots out again. Okay, we've worked out that. <laughs> so if you commented about it and you didn't see me do this, Means you didn't watch all the video, so yeah. <laughs> and yeah, same on that side. Obviously, locks in. Looks like a mangled, mangled mess. Repair shop activate. But yeah, like I said, the uh, the front there being that rubber. It's, it's a little weird, but um, I'm okay. It's fine. The Anakin's was the same. That had the same sort of features at the front. All these, these sort of twin engines were kind of, um, yeah, kind of that same rubber. But yeah, we've got Zam Wessel with her speeder, finally. It's in a long time. Not being in my collection. And now it is finally here. So I'm going to have her... Sort of just standing with their speeder, having a meeting with Django. So I'm trying to find something that resembles like the the cylinder with the with the bugs in it that he gives her. Excuse me. I think that'll be cool on display. So bear with me. I'm going to set it up and we'll we'll take a look. All right. Here is the. Uh, set up for now i would like to get something some little risers to get them sort of just sort of hovering up a little bit higher i've got some ideas um same with the speeder i do have to find an anakin to put in there and i'm pretty sure i've got a spare one i can i can find to put anakin in that speeder i'd like to get them both sort of up off the ground a little bit more and you can see there what i was talking about with the anakins he's sort of got that Ooh, there you that sort of squishy look too with the engines there but yeah if we could get them up off the ground a little bit that'll look really cool up here on the corner attack of the clones shelf but yeah happy to have this one in the collection i think it looks cool hope you've enjoyed taking a look at zam wessel speeder it's a nice Nice addition, I dig it a lot. Okay, 
kind of standing there with Django having the discussion about the uh, we need to try something a little more subtle, Zem. My client's getting impatient. So yeah, very cool. Well, like I said, I hope you enjoyed checking this out. Give the video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. That one there. Subscribe if you're new. Drop a comment down below, let me know what you think. And uh, we'll see you again for some more Star Wars Action Figure videos very soon. Till then, may the Force be with you, always. We would be honored if you would join us.